What's going on and welcome on in. So how to execute and place orders on TradingView so you can trade on the TradingView platform all in one place. That's what we're gonna talk about today in this video. They have recently moved this and changed things up. So I wanted to make this as an update video if you've had confusions or if you're coming at this now fresh and you're like, wait, you can trade. How do I do that? What do I need to know? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. So first things first, you need a TradingView account. We'll leave a link down below that if you don't have one already. But if you do, which I would imagine most people who are watching this video probably already do, then we need to understand, okay, we can trade here. So go down to the where it says trading panel down at the bottom of our screen, okay? Click on that. Pop this open and maximize it, this guy right here. You'll now see that there's a lot of brokers you can connect and trade through your broker, but on TradingView's charts and their platform. Now, if you don't have one to connect or you want to just trade on with paper money and use their paper trading platform, which by the way, TradingView has paper trading already kind of enabled and involved. So you don't have to have an account with someone else. You can just start here to try, you know, try your strategies out, test things and get yourself started trading futures, shares, doesn't really matter. Now, once we've done that, I'm gonna connect the paper trading account. I've got accounts with a couple of different brokers, but I'm gonna connect my paper trading so it's a little bit easier just so we can see this. So I'll connect that, make sure I'm signed up, all that, all the nine yards there, whatever. Now, once we're selected and connected here, I'll have an account, I have $1,000 or right now my paper trading account. So, and you can change that stuff. We've got a paper trading video to kind of talk about that if you wanna learn more about that. But in this video, now I'm gonna minimize this, okay? So see where this minimize button right here, this little minus? Minimize that. Now at the bottom, you'll see where it says paper trading. So green little light. Okay, that means we're good. If it's not green, uh, it means there's a problem and you wanna go figure out what the problem is, but that's our trading panel. Now, in the past, you'd go to the right-hand side, these icons, and there would be a trade icon. There would be uh, two different options. They have moved that to now next to your account that's connected. In this case, it's a paper trading account. There's a trade button. Click on trade. It will now open up what you would what you would have been able to open up on the right-hand side. Now it's right here. So we've got the order panel or the DOM, the depth of market. Think of it as your price ladder. So let's say I want to buy Google right now. I want to buy, you know, a couple share. I want to buy five shares of Google stock. I can go about it two different ways. The depth of market, the price ladder, I can go in and I could put a limit order in for five units in this case at, let's say right here. And it will now potentially fill if it comes down to that price. From here, I can actually add a take profit and a stop loss on the position. So I can do that before the order even fills. Once it fills, it'll automatically have the take profit and stop loss selected and set up. So we're very close to getting filled. If it gets filled, great. If not, I can adjust this in a second. This is option one, okay? Now there's other options and buttons. You can flatten the position, which means get out. There's reverse, which would mean if you were long five shares, then you'd go short five shares. So do the opposite. There's a couple different options that you have once you're in a position. Let me actually move my, uh, move my, my order up. Now we're filled and it will have my live P&L on the screen. If I click on the X, that will just exit the position and it will cancel these stop losses and the take profits. And uh, I can do that. So I can go flatten. I have those options as well, the reverse. So now that that's one way to do it, let's go ahead and let's click on the X to get out. Okay, great. Now we're out. The order panel is this guy right here. I can now go market orders, limit orders, or stop orders. Okay. We've got other videos on the channel. If you are confused on what those orders are, order types, etc. It could be a good place to start if you're not familiar. But for those who are familiar, you, these are the types of orders you have. Now, when it comes down to it, there's the same, it's, it's, it's the same thing you can pretty much do, but you can kind of enter it all in ahead of time and see things a little bit easier, which is what we kind of liked. I, I kind of like this. Uh, and, unless you were a breakout trader or a scalper, this is going to be cool too. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and buy Google market order, but I want to set my take profits and stop losses. I have ways to do that. So if I have a market order selected for buy, I now have the ability to take off at different tick levels, price points, dollar amounts, or percentages. So if this, if I want to make 
uh, let's say I want to make a dollar and I want to risk 50 cents, I could do that, right? As my take profit and stop loss. And then it will adjust accordingly. So if I click on buy, boom, it's going to automatically enter me for a stop loss of $1 and now a take profit of 125. I guess it through, oh, I, I must have changed those numbers, whatever, at the last second. But again, you can customize that whatever. Just be careful when you change tick numbers or price points or percentages, everything's going to change. So just be careful about that. And I can adjust these as, you know, as I want on the charts. I'm going to click on the X to get out of the position again. Limit orders, stop orders as well, which are pretty cool. If you are not familiar with these, you'll have to essentially select the price that you want to get filled at on limit order from a limit buy. You'll have to go ideally go below um, where the current bid ask is. And then on the stop, let's say I wanted to go with a breakout trade over this high of let's go 133.27. So for example, I'm going to go 133.30 if it breaks above that level. Uh, I'm going to go buy. It'll have my stop loss take profit. Now it's going to have a buy stop. So when Google breaks this level, I'm going to get in and I can adjust that to put it right above those highs. And then I can move my stops from there. So these are the types of orders you have. Pretty straightforward if you are, you know, someone who's familiar with trading. Uh, you don't need to go into too much detail about all these different orders and how they all work if you're just getting started. But now you know where it is. You know how to access the trading panel, the trading widgets now, I guess, if you will, on TradingView. And so this will apply to pretty much whatever platform you're using. But that's now how you go ahead and do it. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, again, links, resources will be linked up in the video description box, like always. And hope you guys got something out of the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.